Right, I know loads of you struggle with your chipping. I personally have struggled with my chipping as well, and I've got this drill I want you to use, which is absolutely like killing it when it comes to helping people with their strike, their confidence, and their perception of how to hit a chip shot. Let me show you it. Now we're just off the green, a little bit of fringe to clear, and I can do this drill with any club. I've got a 50 degree wedge. I could go over in the rough and hit it with a lofted club or a medium or a running shot. The idea that we're trying to get rid of is this idea of being really static as we chip, being really still and comfortable because we're scared of our moving parts. Think about it, when people get petrified, scared, anxious, feelings that go through people's mind when they've got a simple shot that they know they might make themselves look stupid playing, they freeze up, they stop moving, where the answer to better chips is actually to try and get you moving more. So if we can get rid of these ideas where you're just trying to move the club and oh, linear, in a linear, straight fashion as your body doesn't move, we'll get rid of these horrible, complete, flubby chips. We need to try and get you striking this ball forwards with your body helping you out, syncing up the movement, with your body helping you gauge low point gauge strike and in turn distance oh a little bit hard that one so what i want you to do is start getting your feet to get your knees your hips your shoulders your chest to actually start moving and don't feel like the movement is coming from your generally grasping tight anxious hands and the simple way you're going to use this and you can use this to practice but some people are using this when they play when i give it to them is I want you just to do your normal setup and in your setup, just a brief setup with chipping, try not to be ball back, handle forwards, digging that club in. Try and get the ball somewhere opposite, say just left of my zipper here, handle relatively neutral, a little bit of lean, to pretty straight, and get the ball position, like I say, not too far back, handle forwards. They're the ones that kill it. But I've got other videos on your ideal setups. But what I want you to do is we need to try and get your body rotating more and the arms feeling like they're just coming along for the ride. And that's gonna take all the anxiety out of these, which is where often that's where these horrible jaggedy movements lay. So to do this, trail heel, my right foot heel in the air, lead foot on the ground. I still feel like I'm quite even with my pressure. So I don't feel like that pushes me way forwards. So try and stay quite even with your pressure. Now, to start the backswing, I'm gonna start ramming that heel into the ground. But as I do that, I'm picking trail heel up. And the reverse on the way down, trail heel's gonna go down as simultaneously, the, sorry, lead heel's going down as simultaneously trail heel comes up. So basically we're here with the right heel, trail heel, this way, this way. We're giving it some movement, a bit of the old shaky Stevens. And what this is gonna do, try and just keep your arms nice and relaxed, pick that trail heel up. The swing now you're gonna feel is coming much more from your legs, from the ground up, getting your body moving, feeling like your arms aren't really doing anything, giving you a much better chance of having a very inoffensive hit of the ground. So what do I mean by inoffensive hit of the ground? Well, I've hit three chips there. Not the best strikes in the world, but fine. And you'd barely know I've been here. Look at the ground. I've just, there's no divot. That's not me. I was hitting my shots from here. I am basically brushing. I'm trying to get rid of leading edge, digging in handle leans. I'm trying to get rid of crashes. I'm trying to land the plane gently and just brush through and then take off again. And that's coming from me not disjointing my arms, hands, club from the way my body works, actually trying to get the chips to come, the little strikes from these delicate little shots to come from the ground up, how I'm pushing and moving in the ground, which allows me now to relax my arms, hands, be really passive with them and feel like actually it's my feet that are hitting this chip shot. Now you could do this with your feet on the ground as well. So you could feel like rather than start with trail heel up, you could just do a swing where lead heel comes up, back down trail heel up. So rather than start up here, which for some feels awkward. And if you were gonna work it into your game, they're the feelings I would have of much more of my pressure on my feet going this way basically. So this way and this way to get these rotations happening. And like I said at the start, you can use this idea. It honestly, it trans give it a go. It's transforming golfers strikes with any loft. So this is my 58. So if I wanted to hit a high one, 
I'm going to use the same ideas. It's not coming from my arms, it's coming from the ground up, which is making my arms just go along with the ride. I can hit the low one now where I have got the ball a bit further back, handle a bit further forward, aware that that leading edge is in there. I'm still going to get my body rotating, get that body turning, arms coming along for the ride. And then I can just hit my standard one. Again, pretty medium strike there, not the world's best, but chipping down quite nice and close. And again, you can still see here, I am just not really offending that ground hardly at all. That's six chip shots from the same spot with two different lofts. Stop struggling with your chips. Honestly, this is transforming people's chipping. And if you want to find out more about how I transform my chipping, this video has a lot more ideas of how to use your arms as well as sync it to your body to really finesse those chip shots.